AMD shares heading higher after very strong results. CEO Lisa Su joins us now to discuss. Uh, Lisa, a couple things, but I just want to start at the highest level. There have been a lot of fear, a lot of scary, a lot of some CEOs basically saying that PCs are dead, so therefore semis are dead, and uh, everything else is going wrong. When I read through your report, I did not feel that way. Can you uh, give us an update about how you could have 71% sales growth, unbelievable expectations, and the PC dead, and your company losing share? Well, uh, first of all, Jim, Carl, David, great to be here with, uh, with you this morning. Um, it was a very strong start of 2022 for us. Uh, very strong growth across all of our businesses, uh, led by the data center business. That's where we've been strategically focused for the last couple of years, and it's great to see the progress. We doubled our data center business. Uh, very strong uh, you know, gaming results, as well as um, the PC business. And you know, what I would say is, Jim, um, you know, this is all about being in the right segments. And, you know, we have, you know, strategically been focused on having our product portfolio aligned with the higher end of the stack and, you know, um, you know, really higher value products. And that really came through in our you know, revenue growth as well as our margin expansion. You know what? I think the narrative that we were expecting from you, which was really decided by uh, others, including one gentleman who's going around and saying that the sky is falling, particularly uh, the over AMD. Uh, but what I really loved was that I had expected that Xilinx was going to be a single-digit contributor. I was very worried that you overpaid for Xilinx. I hadn't heard a word about Xilinx. I couldn't have seen a better number. I can't recall when Xilinx was this strong, and I followed the company for 25 years. This thing's working, isn't it? Well, I am so excited. You know, we closed Xilinx um, in February, so we had half a quarter of Xilinx as part of our first quarter results. But more importantly, Jim, I mean, strategically, Xilinx is such a great fit with the AMD portfolio. Uh, what we now have is a diversified set of businesses, um, you know, that really are, um, you know, all about high-performance computing and adaptive computing. You know, Xilinx grew, um, you know, on, on a pro forma basis, 22 percent um, in the first quarter. Uh, we now see them growing sort of low 20s, um, which is a great growth rate. And if you add that on top of, you know, the AMD business, we're going to grow, you know, 60 percent year over year into 2022. So uh, we're excited about the combination. We're excited about what we can do in sort of the, the key markets that we think are going to be the secular growth drivers for us um, in not just 22, but really over the next three to five years. All right, at your upcoming analyst meeting, which I'm really looking forward to, is it possible that you might be able to say that you care more about or that the streets you care more about aerospace, defense, industrial, health care, and, of course, auto, than, uh, than throw away PCs like the one I have, which I would toss at you, and I really don't care? <laughs> well, I, I, w- I wouldn't exactly say that, Jim, but what I would, what I would say is um, we have a great set of markets and great exposure across um, extremely important markets. So, you know, data center, uh, for sure, uh, communications, um, all of uh, automotive, frankly, is becoming um, a driver for us, uh, you know, which wasn't for, let's call it standalone AMD. Um, then you add industrial, aerospace and defense. Um, the PC market continues to be a good market. Now, you have to be in the right parts of the PC market. So, yes, there's a little bit of softness in the low end of the PC market and in consumer. Uh, we've been focused on premium and, you know, high end and commercial. Um, in those areas, you know, we believe we can still grow. And so the key is to think of AMD as really, you know, a broad-based, high-performance computing company.